In this video, the velocity v meters per second of a particle at time t seconds is given by v equals 6t squared to take away 8ti plus 18t plus 12t squared j. Given that s equals 0 when t is 0, find an expression for s in terms of t. OK, so we've got s and we've got v. OK, I'm not going to bother looking at a because that's not part of the question. Now, the v is the 6t squared minus 8ti plus 18t plus 12t squared j. Now, in order to get to s, I'm going to need to integrate. So I'm going to integrate the i. So 6t squared, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, gets me to 2t cubed. Minus 8t, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, gets me to minus 4t squared. Oh, got ahead, got ahead of myself. Plus some constant, OK, i. Now we move on to the j component. So 18t will integrate to 9t squared. And 12t squared will integrate to 4t cubed. And we'll have another constant of integration, which I'll label as c2. So now we can use the initial condition that s is 0 when t is 0. So what that would mean, if I just erase the velocity equation. So what that would mean is that as s is 0 when t is 0, that means that this component will be 0. So two lots of 0 cubed, take away four lots of 0 squared, plus c1. So that means that c1 is 0. And likewise, uh, this component will be 0 when t is 0. So c2 must be 0. And so the displacement will be 2 t cubed, take 4t squared, i, plus 9t squared, plus 4t cubed, j. OK, so that's how I can work out and use the initial conditions to finish off and find the displacement vector.